I'm trying to listen to the country road. <laughs> and I can't. Uh. Oh heck. Um is it on the good save state? Oh it has a default one. Huh. Let me just listen to this this final part. It's not gonna take long, sorry. It's it's a good time for everyone to to, to drop on in. What is with that song, goddammit? Heck. Heck final. Heck! Big heck. It's got such a it's got such a sticky song. But I'm not gonna play it on the stream. It's I got the the I got the thing muted, so you you can't hear it, I can. I because I don't I don't wanna I don't have to actually <laughs> play videos. <laughs> mm. Oh well. There goes Country Road. Also known as the West Virginia song. Also, this is a great time. Stupid machine thing that does the thing. Okay, now the thing should be unmuted. Okay, let's go swim. Let's go fight a boss. Let's go unlock some video games. <laughs> Ugh. Wait, didn't I already unlock Pterodactyl Land? I don't know. So what was this guy's name again? Also, it gets progressively more beat up, which is a nice detail. We call that a neat deet. Wow. This guy looks terrible already. It's been one fight. It's Hag Bags Tootie. I forgot this guy's name. Plungo. There we go. I'm ver very glad that a viewer has shown up. It makes me f it makes me feel like a like a last video was terrible. I feel really bad about that one because I was legitimately just a very salty boy. Oh no. Oh no. What an impossible boss fight. Such amazing design. Wait, really? That was it. <sighs> I, should, I might as well just play Country Road again. <laughs> See if that makes my mood any better. I was hoping to do some stream with Mass Effect, but Como didn't show up. Como's been a bit weird lately. I wonder why they made all the sound clips. Did, did they did they really use that much space that they had to save on like sound clips? That they had to make the sound clips shorter and then baby. Gotta make them baby. I don't get why these areas can't be revisited under any circumstances because, as a, as a quick footnote, there are teleport devices all over the place. So there's no real re no, no no travel time reason with it. Okay, do I need any eggs? I can do some regular eggs and some ice eggs. There we go. Oh, here we get the click clock kazooie kadan kadooie. Clockwork kazooie eggs, there we go. So it's basically a grenade egg, but you can control it, also it can pick up things for you. The problem is it can pick up things for you, which allows for some cheesing. Minor cheesing, but cheesing nonetheless. I will demonstrate it when I feel like it. Until then, enjoy these musical notes. Oh no. Oh no. Do you trust that man? Do you trust this boy? I knew it was you. Thank <laughs> you. 
Those eggs allow some trick shots, yes. I did not trust that boy, and I made the right call. I made the American decision to save the innocent, protect the poor, and presumably keep them poor in the process. Eh. How many do I need for this level? The last level requires 17 Ortigies, which is not that many when you think about it. In the grand scheme of things. I kind of want to pull out a map for Pterodactyl Land, but Pterodactyl Land commits the cardinal sin that uh, another level also did. If you're an intelligent individual, and I know you are, oh, you show you, you ripe old man. You know, you know what I'm talking about. Um, but yes, there, there's a problem that I feel needs to be addressed. We'll get to that point when we get to oh, God, now my head's all, all wiped clean. I forgot what I was talking about. Frick. I was complaining about something. I know that much. Something like this. Uh, I was walking over here. I was like, oh man, let's go to the... What was I complaining about? Because I, I knew I had a good point. I hate this. Whatever. Whatever, I'll just cry. <laughs> I'll just cry. Wah. Oh yeah, the, the level. I know, Pterodactyl Lens level design, that's what I was complaining about. Um, so you might say, what's wrong with it? Well, it does the exact same thing as... Um, let me just see if I can pull up a map. Because, remember how I said that a massive problem with... Oh, actually, a lot of levels do this in, in Magical Studio, but... A big problem I have with Click Clock uh, Woods is that Click Clock Woods... Uh, was basically you go in a spiral every time and there's no reason under any circumstances whatsoever to do anything other than the, the spiral. Uh, Charodactyl Land takes that central approach of, like, their segments, and around those segments are the other levels. Um, while I do this, while I while I put this browser source up, you can also see what I talked about earlier, which is the Beepus. Uh, you see that over there? That that little thing over there in the in, in, in the green space? That's a Beepus. That's a Beepus shooting a Beepus beam. Thanks. Th th thanks a lot. Thanks. Re really that one of my video games. Anyway, it's, it's Dinosaur Land. I don't know why. It just is. Ugh. You know, the more I listen to these sound effects, the more I don't like them. They're way too... They're not satisfying. They're not like, woo! They don't make you go, goo! And give you a little, little shiver in your little belly. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, there's something I want, to, I want to talk about, which is something that scared me. So there's a big... Ugh, come on, country road. Oh, you can do this. Huh. I never knew. But yes, um... There's a, a, an area in here where there was a big boy, and that big boy scared me as a little boy, because he was big and I was little. It is only natural that I, as a boy, was was scur, was done a big frighten. Um, look at that beepus. Those are those are the beepus. Why? Why did you do this video game? So this level has two transformations, technically speaking, and it's the same transformation, but it's like twice. I call it logic. Um, the transformation changes depending on what you do something with Mumbo, and essentially, either you're a big boy or you're a tiny boy. Uh, the tiny boy is more useful because the big boy can't go anywhere. The big boy doesn't even fit in his own goddamn house. What is a boy to do? I don't know. Look, I'm too used to Jolly Roger Bay. The game doesn't care about your air. Isn't it? Isn't it really, really stupid that the water level doesn't even use the air mechanic? Like, what's the point even? I've long been of the persuasion that if you're going to put a mechanic in a game, and that mechanic is then central to something, you should, you know, include that mechanic too. So if I recall correctly, you can fly here, but it doesn't amount to anything. Oh, that does amount to some things. There's some things to do up here, I guess. Okay. Well, color me wrong. Although you can't go anywhere until you push the buttons from the outside, I think. That's the whole spiel. But up here, there's a Jiggy. Okay, so this is what the camera is good for. It's be for becoming nauseous. Yeah. 
I'm flying. This may or may not result in disaster. This is not good. The game is probably not programmed to handle this animation state. So yeah, you can imagine why I was spooked when something like this exists in the water. What the hell kind of deal is this? Do you want to have four? So remember when I said there's a level where you can just spin around a bit and, and you just achieve the objective? Seriously, what the hell were they thinking? Like, sure, a little bit of aiming probably helps, but... What an amazing minigame! Truly worthy of taking up development resources. I would love it if this minigame, like, you reach 100 score in the game, is like, ah, fine, you win. Just stop. You're humiliating us. You're too pro to go. I thought it was a biscuit. I want a biscuit? I would like a biscuit. I would really like a biscuit. <laughs> you know, the N64 control is terrible. Because <laughs> you have to use the Z buttons for aiming, which is kind of bad. It's not great, at least. There's a reason we went to Twin Sticks. Heck knows where that guy hangs out. Or why they put a flight pad in here and also a set of springy shoes. I don't get... Why? Why are both here? Why are both here? Both here with, a, with like the big red B. The, the, no, the, the, the white letter B and like a big red box. That, that, that B. That's the B I'm talking about. That's the B.I. I'd be talking about. I'm going to look at the map and see where the abilities are so I don't have to flummox around. Oh, I don't even know where this is. I don't get this. There's Taxi Pack. There's the Spring Shoes. And there's Egg Hatching. I think I know where these abilities are. Now that I think about it. Let me see if my brain can... Yeah, I know where these are. I know what all of them are because I have a good brain and I'm a good boy with a wholesome head. Filled with wholesome thoughts. No, 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 no X-rated content up there. No siree. I don't like that these boots are so small. They're little big old stompy boots. Instead of being nice, sexy big boots. Also, they don't work as waders because now they're tiny. How are they waders? They're just shoes. Answer me that, video game. And I might just give you benefit of the doubt when it comes to that big old beepus. I'm just saying. I'm just saying, it might have something to do with that beepus. So, why even bother with the boulder? Because, from a pure gameplay perspective, there's no reason for this boulder to be here. Other than to remind you, you have this ability, and you can use it. Like, if it was, like, a sort of a hidden thing. This is interesting. I didn't know you could walk past ledges like this. I guess the game doesn't want to accidentally clip you into the wall or something. Yeah, I don't like these boots. They look terrible. The original ones are so much better. They were just big boots. They went all the way up. And now Kazooie's also like stomping around like a, like a, like a, like a jerk. Like, Arr, I'm a big stompy man. Also, animation's very fast. Like, they tried to streamline this to, to, to all heck. Heck. I miss Como. I wish Como was here. I'm gonna go in the video game box. And if anyone joins up, I'm gonna tell them, hey, I'm streaming. 
You're on the stream. I know I have illegal access to your voice. I know it's illegal, but at the same time, it's your fault. It's your fault you showed up. Can't blame me. I'm not too uncommon. That's you. And let's go do this for the umpteenth time, because the video game just loves recycling content. I think we want to get the big one first, anyway. Get the big tent. Which makes everything big. But I think it's also... No, there's a couple more things Momo has to do. So I don't have to do this all in one go. Anyway, in this level, his power is make big. He embiggens. <laughs> and large. A cromulent word, but you could go for the better choice. Now the beepus shoots stepping stones. What a beepus. This is probably one of the few levels where Mumbo actually has, like, shit to do. Uh, where his existence is justified. Because he actually has to traverse somewhat difficult terrain and do some stuff. It's like, man, they actually made this playable character have some gameplay. What an amazing invention. To have alternate characters and actually have them do stuff. What a cromulent decision. I want more I want more nonsense words. I want to say nonsense words today. <laughs> I just want to say words that are just like they're in the dictionary, but at the same time it's like they don't belong in the dictionary. That's a big button. You need a big boy for that one. Bo yeah, Borderlands remastered. Listen, man, there's a lot of cromulent things in the world, but fucking Borderlands remastered? Really? How old is that game? Two thousand and freaking nine. It's not even ten years old, and it's not even that good of a game. <laughs> Why would you remaster this? Uh, if they're actually going to remaster it, I'm so disappointed in the video game industry as a whole. It's, <laughs> it's a great social game. I won't argue that. It's not, it's a great game if you got some friends and you just want to chill out and have have a great time. And it's I guess a decent shooter. I kind of liked Borderlands One. I guess I didn't. I wasn't as inclined to replay Borderlands 2. I might play those games just to see what I feel now, but... Yeah, it's like, it's a weird game to remaster, though. It doesn't look, it doesn't really look like it needs one. Like, what are you gonna do? Also, I love how the, the rocks come down, so... You notice those rocks? That's because the wigwam actually slams into the top of this cave. This pad stays around. I think it's one of the few pads that does this because of, uh... Yeah, it, that's where the rocks come down, because it's... Touch it, scene. But yes, yeah, so I think this is one of the rare places where the, 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 the panel sticks around a bit. Also, for some odd reason, whoever's nest this is, they're actively promoting themselves. And they're like, look, go to my nest. Come visit me. And he's like, don't visit me. I hate you. And then they, they, they give you a, a mean look, and you're like, no, sorry, sir, or ma'am. But all the BT lore. The hot BT lore. The hot details you never noticed as a kid. Hot. I wish I actually had BT lore. I love how my name shows up in a little black box and it's white text, and I'm like, I feel so accused when I see that. It's like someone's not trying to censor me. I feel personally assaulted when I see the text displayed like that. Eh. If I'm correct, this is where the dinosaurs hang out? Question mark? Oh, I remember something about this. Oh, my fucking god. Oh. So, remember when I said this game is like, do a thing? Remember remember when I said that doing a thing is like 90% of this fucking game? This little mother clucker. Gotta, gotta break the boulder. Get the, that's no reason. Just because they could. Uh, you're such a bad mom. Ugh. Like they could have just not put the rock there and made this easy to do. Oh yeah, there's the the, the honey. I, I talked about the, the honey hives that are like, I want to kill you, I want to stab you, I want to show you a good old-fashioned one for. It's not very 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 cromulent, but I'm now going to arbitrarily ascribe cromulent every meaning of the book. I think around here is the one that gives you the springy shoes. I thought it was around here. Huh. Maybe it's up there? Huh? 
This guy's like, I don't like your pass. You gotta, gotta use the big boy to scur him. Okay, so, the thing about Donkey Kong 64, it did not require an expansion pack for any reason other than that a bug happened. I think a memory leak bug happened and the expansion pack fixed it. They did not want to use an expansion pack for it. It was a necessity to, to get the game to work at all. So, um, yeah. I'd like to imagine the bug was that they put too many goddamn bananas in the level, and they just didn't want to make less, because they were like, everyone wants to collect collectibles. <laughs> hey, hey, hey! People want to collect them, collect... Oh, there he is. There he is. There's that, that not-so-wholesome boy. Who does naughty things. Naughty, naughty. And not with a G-N-A-W. Oh, we're already trying to level, huh? Huh. Well, color me cromulent. And slap my butt. So what do we do next? Oh frick, I just remember this is where the thirsty boy is at. There's a there's a there's an extremely thirsty boy somewhere in this level. He's so thirsty so he's like He wants a sip. Um I don't think he can do anything then. And anyway, let's go to the bad because we can look at some exciting trivia. This is exciting. It is possible to learn one of the moves, Hatch, before getting the 20 jiggies required to get in. Since the area contains this move is accessible via Mayamayam to Temple, all new has availability in 420 notes, both which are accessible before you get your 20th jiggy. Goofy. Every Jinjo in this level is placed in a jail cell. Jam jars cannot let, the char cannot let any character or transformation go to the top of Terry's nest. Wow. Yep. Well, actually, it's not... Like, they probably could have fixed it. But here's the thing. Well, cartridges, for one. It's cartridges. It's very difficult to upgrade to, to, to properly patch. Actually, no, because Nintendo's doing the... But point is... Back then, they were also kind of, like, under deadline, so they couldn't fix it, and they were like... Or maybe they found it too late. Like, there could have been any number of reasons. It was a bug that should have killed the game, but they were still like, Oh, we'll just... We'll just... We'll just say Nintendo, hey, just ship it with an expand... Ship it with this expensive peripheral. It's fine. It's fine. No problems. Foot the bill. Seriously, though. Let me actually see if I can look it up on Wikipedia. Uh, someone wants me to play Donkey Kong 64 Shine Galaxy Deluxe Brothers, and I'm like, sure, why not? I'll throw it on the docket somewhere, and then I'll forget about it. Here we go. According to Rare Programmer Chris Marlowe, the company could not resolve a bug that occurred without the expansion pack, and thus they were forced at great expense to bundle the game with a memory upgrade. Additionally, Nintendo said that the choice to bundle rather than send the accessories uh, separately would avoid customer uh, confusion. According to the game's launch, accompanying the game's launch, Nintendo offered a special bundle of the game and the console, including a banana-colored cartridge, it, it's required, uh, that's cute, and a green Jolly Rancher-style Nintendo 64 console. How cute. Yeah. Um. Okay, so it's not required, but apparently it's... Okay, the upgrade was previously used to power optional high-resolution textures, but in the case of Donkey Kong 64, it was marketed as improving the game's frame rate and rendering objects at a distance. However, in reality, they needed it because the whole game would have blown up otherwise. The whole, whole goddamn video game would have gone kaboom. Kaboom. I got 41 views. <gasps> Am I going to break 50? I don't care. I don't care anymore. I think I think I think I've grown too too rich for my blood. I'm like, mm, oh, I'm too famous. Hey, what's happening, you Wilden Crit? I don't know what's happening. I'm playing a level that's already kind of frustrating me, but it might just be my stomach being upset that makes me frustrated. Cause my tummy is like a little bit, a little bit, a little bit upset. There's a beepus in this level. I'm walking on the beepus. Don't look, kids. Cover your eyes. For mature audiences only. Hot, hot X-rated content, right there. 
I don't want to go back there. I don't want to go back there under any circumstances. <laughs> Goddamn stricken. Stricken from the record. I don't want to turn into a big boy, but I do want to turn into a big boy, because I think the big boy only really... I think the big boy only has, like, two things to do. Like, he has to push a button, and he has to scare a dude away, and that's it. <gasps> Hardcore Iron Man on Old School RuneScape! Awesome. I can't do that. My, my mouth doesn't know. Maybe if I practice. But yes, Wamba's huge too now. Isn't that a hoot? She's a big woman. So if you're into that... You're gonna need to tolerate numbers first. Anyway, now we're a big boy. Look at how big we are. Also, our shorts are all messed up. I'm a daddy. You can't do that. That's, that's cultural appropriation. It's cultural appropriation. That's illegal. I'm appropriating daddy culture. But I'm so big. I'm so handsome. All the boys in town be respecting me. Yeah! I just remembered something about Terry, Mother Flippin' Dactyl. Terry, Mother, the Mother, the Mother, the Mother Goosen Dactylus. Ugh. Oh, yeah, this guy I have to get rid of with the, the click lock. So he's all like, I don't want to get rid of the Tekken Curve. <sighs> that's, that's way too deep in my throat. Anyway, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give, I'll give this man a spook. I did him his spook. Oh, whoa. Oh, whoa. What's this? We call it casual genocide. That's what it is. And it's fine. As long as you're not being racist about it, you can kill anyone you want. After all, people only care about hate crimes nowadays, so as long as you just murder someone in cold blood, it's fine. Just don't make it political. People got too many political things to worry about the real the real problems in life. Such as the fact you stole your mother's will. No one cares about that. Probably because you were the only person on said will. Wait, why the hell would DK64 ever release for the P PlayStation 4? Nintendo is not going to release something they own like that, you know? Although, I don't know who owns the game, because Microsoft owns Rare, so Rare probably owns some parts of the game. Ah, oh, it's a complicated mess. If you ate dinosaurs and you kill a dinosaur, congratulations on killing a dinosaur, for one. Don't know how you managed to pull that one out of your ass, but uh, applause for you for accomplishing the implausible. Um, but uh, I, don't think, I don't think hate crimes count for animals. I think hate crimes purely extend to sentient beings. That is, until we decide to make it a political hot-button issue. It's like, are animal can, can you commit hate crimes against animals? And it's like Pepe the Frog and some, all that kind of shit start, start acting up. And it was like, what do we do now? Can a frog have a political opinion? More at 11. This frog was killed because he was for the gays. And then Donald Trump says, well, the frog was only gay to begin with. Because of the water. What do you do now, huh? What do you do now? Is there an answer to this question? I say animal abuse is not a good thing. But at the same time, we have to realize if animal abuse is perhaps a good thing. Now, I'm not saying it is. Because I'm not. I'm not going to defend that point. I like puppos. I like little animals. I can barely step on a snail and not cry. I can, however, kill a human in cold blood and be like, Hey! I did it! Because a little snail is like an innocent, is an innocent soft boy. You cannot blame a snail for what he does in his life. He's just trying to live his little life. He's just trying to get to a place, man! There's Almanites and slow bros down there. I like the Pokemon rap. But yes! A, a little snail, you, can't, you, you, you just can't, man. You can't. You have to, you have to, you, you apologize, and you're sorry, and you hope you didn't, you didn't crack his shell too much. 
I've not been up for long. I am I'm perfectly sentient and sapient. Why? Why is there a tutorial for this? Why doesn't it tell you you can jump? You can jump? You can jump? But it doesn't tell you. Why is there a passage here? The passage literally just goes to here! What is going on with this video game? Why was there a fucking passage? Why would it just... Big God of mercy on us all. Big G. P putting out from a big G. Big, 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 big buddy, big G. Oh my God, I'm, I'm saying bullshit. Whenever I say, whenever I say bullshit, my nose starts to act up, and I start to get all snottery. I don't know why. I think it's because my body is violently allergic to, to bullshit, and it's just like you shall not sneeze. And I'm like, oh man, oh heck. I like heck. I'm gonna sneeze. Frick. Oh. Oh, hecky. That was a big sneeze. Uh, so what do we do here is we gotta do a thing with Bencho. If God can do everything, then so he can let you win. It's why God never wins. It's because he always has to prove that he can lose to someone first. I hate this. I hate this so much. Because it's pretty... It's a pretty narrow... narrow you got a pretty narrow window for this. Oof. The problem with this power-up is very simple. There's a problem with this power-up that I'm gonna... I'm gonna mention this real short, and I want you to think about it. I want you to use your brain. Okay, so... The power-up is, you get to put things in your backpack... ...that are bigger than you should be able to carry. How the hell are you storing everything else up till now? The power-up doesn't explain anything. Why is that sign there? That doesn't contribute to anything. That sign insulted me. Ugh, let's go pick up these notes. On the plus side, because there's so few notes in this... ...godforsaken game... ...you can put them on a map. Unlike before, when that was very unreasonable to do. Man, don't risk your OSR. Your uh, your your hot OSR account. <laughs> oh, Jerry Jackline is spelled in one word, huh? Huh. Out of my way, man. I'm fast as fuck. I'll be honest, I didn't feel as fast as fuck as I thought it would. I did not... I did not get Dragon Kazooie yet. I'm not in Hailfire Peaks yet, so I can't. This doesn't work again. Oh, you're supposed to be at the top of that one. You're supposed to make friends with him. Uh, let's go indoors. Been outdoors too long. Here, it's my little head. 
over somewhere here, there's a sign or something that says, you have to, you have to, you have to, to sing a song. And it tells you how to do the song, I'm like, oh, who cares? Apparently it's all in China right now. Oh, that's how you get here, okay. You, don't you put words in my mouth. I only got space for my own words in there. That's what I meant. Kung Kha. So, we now have, uh, fe we have feather pads, shock jump pads, we have the backflip, we have regular jump, we have the, the cl clockwork kazooie, we got a lot of ways to get up, and for some reason the game is going to add one more for shits and giggles. This game fucking sucks with its power-ups, they're all terrible. They're terrible in the context that, while they certainly achieve some basic objective, I can't help but feel disappointed. Blow up the butts. Exciting. A monumental masterpiece. You can't dodge my pro skills, boyo. I am too pro to go. You're too pro. And that sort of stuff. How's this work again? I forgot. We're supposed to do something here. My brain is all dumb. It's like in that Smash Mouth song. Cool! There's two things to do here. Let's go see if we can do them. Why doesn't it insist on reloading all the assets for this? Because it does that, I think. I think it's just literally reloading the whole level to, to do the loading screen segments. 
which is dumb. It's not smart, at least. I wouldn't call it hyper-intelligent. Nor would I call it hyper-realistic. Man, how exciting this was. You got to go through some doors! <sighs> Awe inspiring. I could have more fun if I just kicked the can around. Probably would actually have more fun. And that I would have any fun at all. I think this game, like, half the reason I don't like as much as I already know a lot of stuff. So the exploration novelty isn't there, and it's like, weh. 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 I think I have to carry the sick lady over. She's like, I don't want to go for my seat. I'm a shad baby. Where does this go? Why did you have to make that? The cleanup run's going to be great. That's going to blow. It's going to suck and blow. By the way, did you know you can make a vehicle in Banjo uh, Nuts and Bolts that doesn't require any fuel whatsoever by using second blows? Get in here. What do you need? Why are you, you coming along? Thought you wanted to go see a doctor. Your child doesn't want to come to see the doctor, sir. Frickin' scrat ate scat. It's literally a gosh dang job. I'm pretty sure you have to carry her to the to the car. Come on, lady, let's go to the car. Come on, baby. There we go. Now we have a full pack. It doesn't do anything for us, it's just a pack that's full. Does Banjo dab in Banjo Tooie? Man, look at that texture. What did they put that texture on? Camera's going wild. Mission complete. That would have taken minutes otherwise. But I said it don't took seconds. That's what we call bad game design. Because there was literally nothing there for me to require to pay attention to. See, if you have to pay attention to something, that's a good thing. Because that means the human interest is spurked. Oh, look! We get to use fire eggs after so long of not using them at all! It's a masterpiece! Look at how this new grandpa grandpa juice the new grandpa juice the lighting engine. Isn't that exciting? Isn't that video games? 
It's very video games. I pooped. I pooped you. I pooped egg. What is this? Like, what the heck is with this freaking world? It's an egg. So the funny thing is, there is actually a thing that happens in, I th think, the last level of Cloudland. It's actually pretty neat. We can't do this right now. We need the, 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 the squishy shoes for this one. But there's actually something pretty neat going on in um, in a Cloudland where you get to pick up certain enemies into a certain thing into your bag. And then as you pick them into your bag, you get to carry them around you hover a bit. It's like a neat use of the powers that just doesn't happen that often. Uh, I've been streaming for 45 minutes and it feels like I've been streaming for years! I feel 75 years old, Sonny! Boy, oh! What's in this door? The answer is... A place. What do you want? Oh, okay. Goodbye. Thanks, but thanks, bundle. I guess. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you are you 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 gosh diddly arn fooling me? That's that's stupid. I never opened that side of the door. Go ahead and chase me. See how little I care. I think this is where we get the hatch power up. Buenos ding dong diddly dias. <gasps> That's illegal! That's an illegal. I know about that illegal. <gasps> I will hatch an egg, because it's 420 time. Wow, thanks for rubbing it the fuck in. You're a burden, you can't even hatch your eggs. <laughs> You're fucking stupid. He just fucks off. Ah, burn! You are burned, lady. Burned as if by calorie stick. What I mean, no one knows. It can mean many things, it can mean nothing, it can mean all the things. I like how bad you insist on carrying this thing. Ugh. What the? What the 
fuck? That was dumb. That was so dumb. That actually just made me go for a second there. Yeah, this is, this is a lot like a Click Clock Woods. It's like a ver ver vertical. It's a high verticality level. Oh, yeah. God, just read the sign. Just read the sign, okay? Oh, it's behind one of the dinosaur doors, I think. Oh, this one's actually pretty neat. This is a neat click clock clizzy one. So for this one, you actually have to do some hard work. Which is a fancy code word for I'm going to use a save state. Heck, the camera is not collaborating with me. Make collab videos with me, camera. Ah! Uh, I just want to make some co collab videos. Not of this man's butt, though. And for our triple troubles, we get the, the jiggy. What's all this then, eh? I don't know, man. I don't even know. Come elaborate. Oh. That was the... <laughs> Doesn't want to do a collaborate with me. I'm supposed to become hot shit on the YouTubes and the Twitch. Well, I don't collaborate, buddy. And the camera's all like, no, you can't. We can't be. Why can't we be friends? 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 That kind of stuff. <laughs> Called out the American Pimpernickel. I call this one that this is way too treacherous a path you expect the play to just do. Where, where are the spring shoes I need to use for this anyway? Where are they? Are they inside? Because if they're inside, that's bullshit! Are they down here? Because if they're down here, that's bullshit! If they're anywhere but directly in front of the... I'm spoken word rendition? How exciting. I don't know where to look for these shoes. And it's like there's supposed to be shoes around here somewhere. Like shoes. The springy shoes. You put them on your feet and then you run up there. You know, there was a time in my life where I made a video on Super Mario Sunshine and the entire video was me just saying omelette du fromage and that was the height of my career. Truly the point where I established myself as, as the, the predominant force in the YouTube space. It was that time that I found myself. Oh, this is the part where this lady's like, you get the heck! Scram! And they start spitting at you. Freaking loogies. I got 42 views. Oh, that's almost 420. Depending on how liberal the interpretation for that is. Yes, this went omelette du fromage. Omelette du fromage. Omelette du fromage. Omelette du fromage. Omelette du... I think I only need to stop to take a breath. But other than that, it was a perfect omelette du fromage. Gah. Like seriously, why even do that? It doesn't do anything. It doesn't it doesn't know the sound Egg Robin Bears. I'm not Robin. I ain't no Robin. Heck. Heck in a heck in a basket. Let's go kick some dino butt. I'm gonna kick that man's butt. Oh, it's a woman. I forgot.
I used to watch Dexter's Lab. It was great. <laughs> but I can't watch it anymore. It's the Scrubs with Paradactyl Parrot! By the way, the Patero is silent. Don't, don't, don't eat my butt. Please. Oh no. The mucoids! What the heck are the mucoids? Jeez, oh no. She calls them snotty buddies. I can't believe we're thieves! Why are we murdering a parent? <laughs> I'm an adult. I swear I'm not trying to be a murderer. My hand was forced. This is entrapment. This is entrapment. Although I think all the police officers can really perform entrapment. When an officer of the law does, does a loop. Ow. <laughs> Dinosaurs didn't invent video games, so why are they here, huh? What are they good for? I can't believe I s I'm stealing her friends. She's all like, you stole my friends! I feel so bad. First I supposedly steal her eggs, and now I supposedly steal her friends. I'm a terrible person. 43 views. Ah, oh, I'm becoming stronger! I can feel the loogies flowing through my veins! I'd like to point out the reason this works is the game actually just extrapolates my my movement, my position based on my movement. So if you just sh just spin in a fucking circle, generally speaking, auto aimers can't hit you. Those dinosaurs ain't never done no good for nobody. That's a lot of double negatives. Except this dinosaur has done some good, and that they are a good parent. They deserve to be smooched. Spin in a circle. It's like once you understand how video games work, you can just you can just sit there like you keep fingers up your nose. Why does this boss fight take so long? There's no reason for this boss fight to take this long. I'm a dirty dino sympathizer. To be fair, though, I am confirmed scaly. Beep beep beep. There goes the dino alarm. I would heckin' smooch a dino. My most powerful defensive strategy! Spinning in a circle! This fight takes forever, and it does so for no good reason. This is one. Of the, this is like a GM fight with a GMS console. Like, I just give him one more turn. I swear he's gonna be cool now, and then he still just freaking sucks, and it's still a terrible boss fight. But he's like, ah, just give him one more, just give him one more go. Just one more turn, he can get his cool move. It's Monday. I just realized something. Oh wow, I don't... I've had enough!
So, unlike a lot of other boss fights, you actually get you get something for your troubles instead of immediately having to take care of the secondary objective. The secondary objective is kind of butt. Got it, I got it, I gotta let it go. I hear little baby sounds. Not the little baby sounds. <gasps> Not the little baby boy. It's down here. What? Didn't they? Okay, thank you for two jiggies. I don't know why I got two jiggies for that. I don't think this is supposed to happen. <laughs> I'm a stuff of candy in my mouth. Mmm, candy. It is thoroughly unpleasant to fall right now. And unlike at any other time, the game actually gives you camera angle that's usable. Exciting gameplay. I'm gonna get some more candy. Shit makes me sick, but frick it. So this is fun. There's another boss fight. We had the pterodactyl, we had the, the choppy boy. And now we get this fancy boy. For your viewing pleasure, you get to do this several times. <laughs> Ugh. Ugh. Um. Oh, there's nothing here, huh? Well, I don't think you're supposed to do that on your own. What the heck? How does that count as a stomp? Well, whatever. Whatever. I can just... I can just hear the feet fetishes now. I can hear them echoing in the distance, doing their call. And all I can say is, hey, can I join the club? Ow. I 
think the way you're supposed to do with the banjo is quite literally and I don't say this with a light heart, is you have to get a regeneration ability, and you have to just tank it with your face. Because there's an ability Banjo gets that lets him quite literally just tank everything. Do uh -huh. Crude. So Car Cracker is another way to do this. Oh look, it's this power we never use because there's really never ever a reason to. How exciting. Do the double jump? I don't know how the double jump is going to help. I got a stomper down. Yeah, you need you need the snooze pack. I love this. Judging by the shape of Stompadon's feet. She would appear to be based on members of the ther Theropoda suborder of dinosaurs. Is it the Tyrannosaurus Rex or something similar? Although the exact species is impossible to identify. Oddly enough, the footprints left on stomping planes are those of a sauropod, such as the Diplodocus. When King Jiggling becomes a zombie and you go and attack him, he'll warn you about Stompadon and say, Be quick on the planes, Stompadon shows no mercy. Because Stompadon never speaks, the character portrait of a Bargosaurus. Is used instead to represent Stomping Plains Warpath. The honey back cheat gives back off time, make it possible to crash out of his boots like Honey King, which gives Banjo limited health and Super Banjo, which doesn't as fast as Kazooie can also be used. If the player uh, makes Banjo Kazooie Mambo jump on the foot instead of. Huh. Let's look at some cheats. Oh yeah, there's a there's a cheat in um, Magic Kazooie where if you do bump, uh, Baldo's moving picture, you can become a wash washing machine, a washing machine, which kind of neat. Either way, the X sixty sixty version just doesn't allow you to save. Wait, that's the ones you get. You get fall, fe no, no fall damage. Honey back. Okay, that's not bad. From hedgy, you get homing. Oh yeah, get jiggy. Get jiggy. You get that from Madame Grunty. Uh, in the the place. <laughs> Hmm. Honey King, Infinite Health, Super Bench, oh, Enemies Move Faster, Open All Worlds, wow. I forgot all these cheat codes. They were nice to look up real fast. Anyway, let's back to the game. I'll be honest, this level's taking a while. I kinda wanna leave. I get this. I get this. The thing is, it doesn't explain that enlarge is now a different spell, namely and small. 
Or is it too D-small? I would know. That's some fake in your magic, Mumbo. Have some. Have faith. There we go. Wow. Candy actually just makes me sick now, huh? I guess I'm not the strong boy I used to be. I have to, someone has to teach me to roar, don't they? But who do? I don't know why. I just don't know why. Why that needed to be a cutscene between like, I don't know. This video game is just whatever the hell it feels like, doesn't it? Do we even have anything to do in this final game? Short, short, long, short, long, long. As we gotta do. A dino's gotta do what a dino's gotta do. Which in this case is just roar at things, I guess. I think that's also all we gotta do with this. thing from like three seconds ago. Aren't I an all-American hero? I guess I am. How many how, how much do we do in this level right now? We're missing the cleft. Which makes me frown. Let's actually look at what Watch Machine Banjo did in the original day.
Oh yeah, Mouse Banjo, Candle Banjo, Octopus Banjo, and Tank Banjo from the other game. That everyone generally forgets about. Where's the cleft? Oh! Really now? Really? Oh, wait, there's something else that I know can do, isn't there? It's like a thing you can open or something? Oh, whatever. Whatever! That puts us at 100% completion for the notes, which is nice. Um, so where are all the jiggies? There's one from Terry for doing the egg thing. One over there for doing the water thing. What are those guys from helping them out? Another one for the babies. But I can't remember that last one. Oh, cool. The thing you roar at the door is actually Morse code for item. Huh. Okay, I've done that one. I've done that one. Wait a minute. I should have six. Maybe something borked. Oh, well. I could not care less. We'll, we'll, we'll look through this place again later. I'm kind of tired. But we can't do much more here! Hey, hey, hey. Let's get the heck out of Dodge. Ugh. I'm never buying candy ever again. I just I can't. My stomach can't take it anymore. Ugh. I think I'm gonna stop soon. I just don't. I don't. I don't fight. And not like yesterday where it was just a great grumpy grump. It's more like I. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. I can't. It's just impossible. It's impossible. Yeah. There's Grunty Industries. This is the Quagmire. Heck. You know what, I want to go back to Richard World and do that quick thing. Do real quick.
Bing. Bada boom, bada bing. I got all this slaps. Yeah. So if I reload. I just want to get, get jiggy. I just want to get get jiggy, lady. Just want to get that cheat code. Which is like a nice way to. See if there's something I need to do. No, I don't want to push the. Where's Jiggy King? I already forgot. I already forgot. Already forgot. I need how this game always integrated cheat codes. Okay, so apparently the odds are not that great. Which makes me upset. I'm gonna try this three more times and then I'm gonna call it quits. Like, finding this sounds like a pain. Because you basically, like, I think I got this code legitimately as when I was little because I had time. Whatever. Next time we'll do stuff. I guess you know we'll just do witchy world stuff. I don't, I don't have energy for this anymore. I've got sick. Ugh. My stomach just can't handle fucking candy anymore, man. Ah. Growing old. Decrepit. There's a big old hole in my hole. Well. Thanks for coming, everyone. Let's see who's all here. We got Commander Root, we got Darth Emus, we got Electrical Longboard, Gimme Honey Now, Hag, Back, Tootie, and the 1-Up Triforce. Follow me if you want to see more. If you don't, well, you can always just leave, and uh, then you won't see this anymore. Isn't that great? Isn't that a great way out? Just not watch it. Oh, my head hurts. Ugh. <laughs> uh.